It's Mobile World Congress. It's Tuesday night, so it can only be at the 2010 Global Mobile Awards. It's a different format this year, an afternoon session and an evening session. Out go the dinner jackets and the sit-down dinner. But in comes a celebrity host who really does know what he's talking about. Smartphones, wireless devices, digital doodads of all kinds are my life. I have been variously called a geek, a dork, a nerd, a dweeb, a nimrod, a saddo, tragic tech head. It's fabulous presenting the Global Mobile Awards, I tell you, I mean, for a number of reasons. One is, of course, because I just happen to love this world anyway, but also because I think they now, in their 15th year, 16th year coming up, they reflect the extraordinary biodiversity of the field. The bulk of the awards were presented at an afternoon ceremony in the main auditorium. The best enterprise product or service went to Research in Motion for BlackBerry Enterprise Server version 5.0. Best mobile internet service was Adafix's Yelix Caller ID. Founder and CEO Claudia Popel was so happy, she even took a few dance steps with Mr Fry. Best mobile money service went to Safaricom for M-Pisa, which has added a bulk payment and utility bill extension to core services. Our promise ever, again this year, this is our second GSMA award, is to keep it fresh and to keep listening to what our Kenyan brothers and sisters need out there and to make sure we give them something that will resonate with those needs. Thank you. Best network technology advance went to Skycross for its IMAT antennas. The best service delivery platform was Huawei's SDP solution. The best billing and customer care solution was Mobile Telesystems tariff and service options configuration. The best mobile technology breakthrough went to Orange Mobile for high definition voice. Voice is uh, the ultimate application. And that's so important for customers. The best use of mobile for social and economic development went to the doubly nominated Grameen Foundation, MTN Uganda, and Google for the Grameen Foundation Application Laboratory. We hope that this service, among the many others who've been nominated, help catalyze new innovations that have a real and lasting impact for the underserved and address issues of information poverty. Thank you. Best mobile money for the unbanked service was Zane Bahrain's mobile commerce offering, Zap. Clanmo and Ogilvy One Worldwide won in the mobile advertising and marketing category for its IKEA PS Mobile Interior Planning Tool. The best mobile location-based advertising campaign went to RGA for its work on the Nokia Vine. The Mobile Innovation Grand Prix is an award for startups and SMEs developing cutting-edge products or services. It was presented by Catalonia's Minister of Innovation, Universities and Enterprise. Ubidai. Ubidine is a new company with a game-changing antenna-embedded digital radio technology. The best green program product or initiative was VNL's solar power GSM base station. Half of the world population lives in the area where there is either no electricity or erratic electricity. These are the real unconnected 3 billion people who need to be connected. The Green Network Award went to Mozambique Cellular for naturally thinking green. As we say in Mozambique, the best mobile game was Iricom's The Last City, Fight for Your Life. Thank you very much and... Uh, uh... Alleluia. <laughs> the best mobile music service was the Odyssey Music Group's Deezer. Best mobile TV or video service went to CBS Mobile for its TV.com mobile app. And the best mobile connected device, which isn't a handset, was Novatel Wireless's MiFi Intelligent Mobile Hotspot. Finally, the Mobile Industry Personality of the Year Award, voted for by the world's business and technology media and analysts, went to Apple CEO Steve Jobs. Stephen Fry, who attended the recent iPad launch event, accepted on his behalf. I have met him, I do know him. Just the other week I was there for the launch of the iPad and he said, Stephen Fry, right? And I wanted to die, I was so excited. It was just extraordinary. I melted into the ground. At the evening ceremony, Stephen Fry's guest on stage was John Landau, the film producer behind Titanic and Avatar. For me, it's, it's, it's a real pleasure to, to be here tonight. Um, I think this is where innovation starts. What's happening in your community is exciting the world, and it's going to give people the opportunity to not reach millions of people, but to literally reach billions of people. Landau presented a trophy to the winning short in the separate MoFilm competition, GPS by Abe Forsyth. Samsung Changed My Life by Henry Schofield won the Make an Ad competition. As a nominated handset, Nokia's N97 Mini was the only Asian contender, an automatically Asian Mobile Award winner. But globally, the best mobile handset 
was the HTC hero. Alexander Rizosimov presented the GSMA Chairman's Award for 2010 to a former CEO of one of the industry's iconic brands. This person came into an industry only seven years ago. And in such a short period of time, I think that he had an extremely profound impact. That company is Ericsson, and the man, Carl Henrik Svanberg. It's always been great in this industry, and it will stay great. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Alexander. Thanks, yeah, Lisa May. Duran Duran, the first band to make a song downloadable on the web, brought the evening to a close. At the 2010 Global Mobile Awards, I'm Robert Corran for Mobile World Live TV.